Isn't Mother Nature amazing? They sustain our very existence. They provide the air that we breathe. They provide flowers for us to enjoy. And they also provide the food that we eat. And it's the vegetable plants that I want to talk about in today's episode. Now, we all grow vegetables for food that can sustain us and our families. But if we put a little bit more effort and education into knowing more about these plants, then we can sometimes double, treble, or even tenfold our harvests. I'm Tony O'Neill, and this is Simplify Gardening. What do I mean by understanding plants? Well, imagine your body as this super highway that uh, travels around the body and brings all the oxygen and all the nutrients and foods that it needs to all the relevant parts of the body. The system uses veins like tiny roads and your blood acts like a truck that's carrying all that oxygen and nutrients to every part of the body that needs them. Now, plants have a similar system, and although they don't have veins, they do have a system that carries all of the nutrients and the water around the plant that it needs. And these have two systems, and they are called the xylem and the phloem. Now, the xylem, it actually acts like a water slide. It brings all of the water up from the root system right through the plant and into all the leaves and other parts. And that's important because it not only brings that water, it brings nutrients as well. And when it comes through to the leaves, the plant can utilize this to stay healthy and for photosynthesis, which allows the plant then to absorb the actual food that it's generating from the sunlight. And then there's the phloem that is like a conveyor belt that moves all that sugary food through from the leaves from the photosynthesis and that's then converted for other parts of the plant. So our vegetables, when they fruit and flower, that's what those sugars are used for. So although plants don't have a heart and blood like we do, they have two excellent systems that keep them fed and well, and it works really good for them. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying we need to become botanists or anything like that, but understanding how a group or family of vegetables grows and the way they work can really make the difference to your harvests at home. Now, I know it doesn't seem like it at the moment, but this book is designed to demystify the complexities of gardening, and it guides you to a straightforward comprehension of plants. And once you grasp these concepts, everything else falls into place. In Simplify Vegetable Gardening, we delve into the wonders of the garden, blending science with practical advice to transform your gardening experience. Embarking on growing your own food opens up worlds of benefits. It introduces you to intriguing horticultural science, including studying microclimates within your garden. This book will equip you with the foundational knowledge that you need for a thriving garden. And I delve into the practical aspects for you to set up a garden for success. Differing from the repetitive nature of many gardening books, which often recycle content for various vegetables, my approach categorizes plants into 16 families most gardeners are likely to cultivate. This method simplifies learning, allowing you to understand and apply gardening principles across related vegetables without redundancy. I address crucial real life factors influencing plant growth, such as soil pH, nutrient requirements, water, soil composition and the atmospheric conditions each plant family prefers. By integrating these insights and the core scientific concepts presented, then you can overcome previous obstacles and nurture your way to a better garden. My goal is to make this knowledge accessible and actionable and provide you with the tools for growing vegetables, even if past attempts weren't fruitful. This book is your companion in the garden, offering clarity and steering clear of overly complicating things and using major jargon, which can cause overwhelm for new people and beginners. Anyone who knows me 
or has viewed my channel, you'll know I love all aspects of gardening. I especially love growing vegetables and pushing the boundaries of what's possible. And I have done all this organically. My grandfather initiated this lifestyle choice for me at the ripe old age of seven. And he sowed that gardening seed with me for life. And even though this book is dedicated to him, it's a culmination of the last 42 years of learning and experience. As I've already hinted, today is launch day and it's a big day for me. Now, if you want to cultivate your own garden for you and your family's future, then get all the results that you see all over the internet, then you need to plant your flag now. Grab your copy today and watch your efforts bloom. I promise you, you won't regret it. All you need to do is head on down to the description below and click that link now. As we wrap up, I want to honour that person that planted that seed of gardening in my heart. And this book and every plant I've nurtured since has a little piece of his legacy in it. So please allow me to share with you uh, the dedication for this person. Dedication. To my grandfather Ted, the seed you planted in me all those years ago in the steep terraced allotment of Cantown Abercannon has grown into a mighty oak. I was just seven years old when you introduced me to the world of gardening, a world that seemed daunting and thorny, much like the gooseberry bushes I would brave for those sweet ripe berries. I didn't realise it then, but you taught me much more than how to tend a garden. You were teaching me about life about perseverance and about love. I remember the damp, musty smell of the old shed, covered in tin sheeting to protect it from the weather, firm but instructive, guiding me through each task. Weed here, dig there, you would say, and I would obey, not knowing that with each instruction you were sowing a different kind of seed in me, a seed that would grow into a lifelong passion of gardening and a desire to pass on that love to my own children. You have left us when I was still in my early teens, but your legacy lives on in the garden, in this book and in the lessons I now share with my own children and with people all over the world through my online content. Together we reap what you sowed, and not just my family, but everyone who has benefited from my content has you to thank for it. I miss those simpler times when you were there to guide me, but I'm grateful for the wisdom you imparted and the love of gardening you instilled in me. I miss you, Gramp. Thank you for being such an inspiration to me throughout your life. Your love of gardening has blossomed in me and I am forever grateful. With all my love, Tony.